Natasha. Debbie. Show. The show. <laughs> Welcome to it. <laughs> Just two patriotic girls. Learning about the world. So please, don't take us the wrong way. G'day, Australia. Hi, Australia. Welcome to the Natasha and Debbie Show. I'm retired trying to say that word because I can't. It's all good. I've got this. Glad somebody does. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome today, guys. We're excited um, to do this video. It's uh, supposedly 10 most dangerous animals in Australia. Now, we've been doing this for uh, a minute. So we know that whenever anyone says mm -hmm. 10 most, 10 best, it's not always going to cover nope. everything. Nope. So just be aware that we are aware. Yes. Um, that's this person's list. I'm sure you have much more terrifying things. But that's the thing. Like, we are aware that you do have some scary stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I know you have saltwater crocodiles. Yep. And big spiders. Yeah. A lot of afraid of spiders. Um, you have some similar things that we do. Mm -hmm. So some of these things don't scare us. We have sharks. You have sharks. Now, we don't because we don't live <laughs> by the ocean. Yeah, we don't have a sea, an ocean. <laughs> not, not anywhere near us. <laughs> so no personal sharks in our backyard, thankfully. No. Um, but, uh, Debbie, what do you hate animal-wise? What terrifies you? Uh, flying bugs. Yep. Yes. She loses Insects. it. She loses it. Even if a little moth touches her hair, she, like, freaks I out. I don't like things to fly in my face. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's just a I'm a big moth. person. They should see me and go another way. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, um, there's really only one animal that I cannot stand. What might that be, Natasha? And I've already seen one this year in our front <laughs> yard, and I about burned our house down. That'd be snakes. True story. No, she I have a hatred. Hates them. Hate. Hate. Hate, hate, hate. Hate, hate. We're animal people. We have our own nonprofit. We help homeless mm -hmm. abuse dogs. But as far as snakes, no. And flying bugs? Yeah. No. Spiders don't get us, though. <laughs> they don't bother you either, do they? Spiders don't really bother yeah. me. And and we, we, have, we like to take things and put them outside, try not to kill them, unless it's a mm. snake. Or a flying bug in my face. <laughs> and any snake lovers, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. It's We all have our fears in life. We do. It's generational. My dad gave me his fear, too. So it's something you can't control. If there are snakes on here, I'm, I'm sure there probably will be, but I'm not sure how I'm going to handle that. So well, flying see. bugs, I hope there are. Well, I want to see what other dangerous animals. Yeah, we've heard a lot there. about stuff, but we'll see. If the drop bear isn't on this, we know it's not a real list. <laughs> All right, let's dive into it. Um, so I'm going to say 10 of the most there dangerous go. animals in Australia. And before we do that, though, if you guys do like our videos, hit that like button for us if you want. Mm -hmm. And consider subscribing. Now, like I said, video time. If you're an avid traveler, I know you've probably added Australia to the list of places yes, you want have. to visit. Only if you haven't already visited it yet. Uh, yeah. But I also know a lot Hello. of you are probably oh, no. scared of visiting this massive country due to the bad reputation a lot of the animals that live there have. After all, a lot of the animals that live in Australia are very unique to that part of the world. And inexperienced visitors might find a lot of these creatures to be frightening and guy? intimidating. Ooh, and Today we're going to be looking at 10 of the most dangerous animals in Australia so you all can learn more about these the creatures dinosaurs? and know what to do if you ever see one of them. <laughs> Stay with me all the way to number one and learn the truth about the most dangerous animal in Australia. It's a person, isn't it? With all that said and done, and be. let's begin, shall we? It always is. Number 10. Sydney Funnel Web Spider. Sounds horribly terrifying. With a size as small as 5 centimeters, this little spider likes to hide in cool, humid environments. That includes rocks, logs, and, well, your shoes. <laughs> yes, if you plan to visit Australia, make sure you always check your shoes before you put them on. It is known that these spiders love to make a home- Sorry. It's funny, when we were kids, we always kept our shoes in the garage a lot of times if they yeah. had mud or dirt on them. And my mom made us um, take our hand and check the shoe for spiders. Like putting your hand in there was yeah. better so, than your foot. Exactly. So as I got older, I realized that. Like, that didn't really add up, Mom. Yeah, I think you're supposed to bang your shoes up, make sure anything yeah. is in there. Maybe she down. didn't tell us to put our hands in there. She probably told us to do what you just said, uh -huh. but I never actually got bit by one. Well, that's but good. not this dangerous, though. Make sure you always check your shoes before you put them on. I agree. It is known that these spiders love to make a home inside of your house if the weather outside is far too hot for them. Oh, cool. And if you're one of those that like to spray threatening animals with water, I must warn you, that ain't gonna work. 
And you shouldn't try that anyway, because that's, I don't know, kind of a jerk move. <laughs> but anyway, these spiders can survive underwater for a long time just by catching air bubbles right next to their skin. <laughs> for that reason, don't be surprised if you find them at the bottom of a swimming pool. Very alive, by the way. Wait. A yeah. swimming spider? <laughs> we said at the bottom. Well, still, it's still alive at the bottom. Yeah, so. that'd be fun. Creepy. A bite of this spider will cause a lot of pain and it could even kill you, but hey, don't worry. There is anti-venom that can help you in the case of such an emergency. And man, oh, that's very encouraging, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Really encouraging. Number nine. The Great White Shark. Oh, yes. Mm. One of Australia's main attractions are its beautiful beaches. Surrounded by the ocean and the largest coral reef, this country welcomes lots of beach enthusiasts that are ready and willing to swim. Mm. Surf or just chill by yeah, the water and beautiful. have a great time. However, even fun places in Australia come with dangerous animals. <laughs> a simple swim or surfing session in the wrong spot can easily turn into a scene out of Jaws as the great white shark like makes his way through the ocean while I everyone know. tries to run out of the water. Oh. But we should make one thing clear. Hollywood hasn't made justice of these sharks. Yes, they are dangerous, and yes, they have caused some fatalities. However, they're not necessarily man-eaters. Right. When it comes to humans and great white sharks, there are only five deadly encounters per year around the world. A lot of the times, the innocent shark mistakes surface for sea lions, but trust me, they wouldn't attack them if they knew it's just a human trying to stand on a surfboard. Well, so and just like really quickly, too, like I said, we, we have great, sh we, great whites. We have bull sharks here, which are more dangerous, and uh -huh. tiger sharks, and uh -huh. um, I, I don't even know all the sharks. But um, Debbie and I used to watch Shark Week all the time. Oh, all the time. And I know in the Bahamas, you know, um, just south of Florida mm -hmm. here, that's like where you're going to have most of the yeah, problems. that's a huge place. For I don't remember fights. hearing that many about Australia. I remember hearing some. Do you? Okay. Yeah, because I, I remember like telling myself don't go in the ocean. Yeah, she won't. In she Australia. Won't, she won't go in the ocean I don't like anywhere. going in there anyway. Um, chlorinated water is perfectly fine with me. A nice walk on the beach. And I love being in the ocean, so yeah. I would totally, this would not take me away from being in the ocean with you guys hanging out, so not afraid. Let sharks keep you from enjoying the beach. Just make sure you keep an eye on your surroundings. Well, yeah. Number eight, the tiger snake. A lot of the times when I talk about snakes, I try to keep you calm and reassure you that snakes are not likely to hurt you. <laughs> no, some crap. of them actually make for some great pets. But when it comes to brown snakes in Australia, I can't easily say the same. Of course. Oh. I do have a few snakes on this list, and the first one is in a fact few? the tiger <laughs> snake. This reptile is found in the southern part of the country, uh, holding both to yeah. islands like Alamania. Oh, they get their name from the fact that a lot of them have banded colors on their skin, just like a tiger. Mm. Their venom is filled with neurotoxins, coagulants, hemolusins, See, and evil. mycotoxins. But what does all that mean that I'm pretty sure I just mispronounced? Don't move. What can they cause? Uh, well, their bite can produce yeah. symptoms such as tingling, numbness, sweating, and localized pain around your foot and your neck. Mm. From there, the pain can turn into breathing problems and ultimately a paralysis. Oh. Most of the untreated bites result in death, but you can receive treatment to avoid such a tragic end. Just That's horrible. <laughs> Most of the injuries can, can result in death. No problem. It's all good. <laughs> the last video we did on Australia, Mm -hmm. I looked in the camera and said, Australia, we gotta find something we don't like about you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is yet. I have now. <laughs> How you doing? We have some bad snakes around here, nothing terrible in our in our real but it doesn't matter. Either, right? They're all horrible. They're all evil. I hate them. I hate them, hate them, hate them. See the videos of them moving? I don't even care if they bite me. I'm mm -hmm. already dead looking at one. <laughs> oh, I'm okay, I'm fine. We can continue. There's a few on the list, huh? <laughs> I'll make it through this with no problem. I'm good. Just like how many of us learn it's first moving. at some point in our lives, I am sure many Australians oh. do too. What? Along with the proper course it's in order to respond when a snake's venom has entered someone's system. Nah, dude. Number Blah. seven. No more snakes. The brown <laughs> snake. Back and again, back. another snake on Blah. this list. <laughs> if you were scared by the well, tiger snake, wait until you hear there. about this one. Brown snakes are the second most venomous terrestrial snake in the world. What? Oh. In the case of Australia, they are responsible for snake bite deaths more than any other snake in the country. Yeah, but how many? There were 19 snake bite related deaths in the decade between 2005 and 2015, and 15 of those deaths were caused by a brown snake. Cool. And the other four? Well, those were caused by the tiger snake. You can find them in the eastern and central part of Australia, around Come the city on. of Adelaide. 
Is it done? And you can also find no. them in some other cities like Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane, and Canberra, which is the capital of this country. Some of the symptoms of a venomous attack include heart arrest, kidney injuries and seizures, and intracranial bleeding. Luckily, anti-venom is available, but still, I would rather... Dude, I'm so you're shaking right now. One of these. <laughs> is it over? I'm kind of with you on the snake thing now, after seeing those Oh, tales. are you? Are you now finally understanding? Over there, I would, I would just... Just over there, not here. Yeah. All snakes Ours aren't so bad. Ours don't do that to you. Well, I'm a flying bug. I'm a moth. That's so scary. Okay, get away from me. <laughs> I'm a moth. It's so scary. Here's a snake. It'll just, you know, kill you. Shut your kidneys down. Well, I'm going to avoid all the snakes over there because I'm not going to stop and look at the markings to see what kind of snake you are. Well, duh. I'm just going to go the other way. I want to know how common your snakes are, especially the venom. I don't care about just the venomous ones. No. In general. Even the non-venomous ones. Uh -huh. Please tell me how common they are. Please, yeah. please, 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 please. Are you going to pull up in the driveway and have a snake in your driveway? Yeah, I don't care if it's, if it's venomous or not. Don't care. Or sneaking in your house. Because a lot of animals that are dangerous in most countries generally aren't in the population of peoples. True. True. Just saying. True. Typically. <laughs> <laughs> so let us know. Better not be another dang snake. Come on. Let's hope not. <laughs> Six. <laughs> The red back Ooh, spider. I've never been happier since spider in my if life. If you're not a fan of spiders, you might have to be extra careful during your visit to Australia. Just like anything in nature that has red They're on cool it, the red back spider screams cool. danger from afar. That's pretty cool. Although it can be a bit hard to see since this animal is only one centimeter long. Jeez. But what this spider doesn't have in size, it compensates it through its highly dangerous venom. And where exactly in Australia is this spider? Well, you can find it throughout the country. A single bite can kill you, but there is anti-venom that you can use, which was created back in 1956. There have not been any deaths reported since then, but now I do wonder what people did before the cure was invented. Yeah, how come? Aside from passing. I'll ask you that about all Being these. such a small spider, I'm sure a lot of people might wonder how they can tell whether they've been bitten or not. True. Well, you just have to look for symptoms to know. A red back spider bite can cause latrodectism, which is an illness that produces sweating, vomiting, rigid muscles, and lots of pain. If you get any of these reactions, you might want to get yourself checked. The spider is small, but the pain it will cause you is not, so you will know when one of them has bitten you. Wow. I don't know if you guys have, if we, I, I have no clue. I doubt we share spiders, but we have what's one of the worst ones around here is the brown recluse. Mm -hmm. That thing will destroy you. Yeah, everyone I know, besides me and Debbie, are like so babied out. They're so terrified of spiders. Yeah, they're terrified of the spiders, but... I, I never understood that. Number five. The stonefish. What's a stonefish? All right, oh, so I've we're clear that white sharks are not out yeah. to get you. Right? Is there an Australian? But I'm sorry to inform you that there is another animal in the water that might make you want to be a bit more cautious once you go diving I or on a snorkeling trip answer. throughout the coral reef. Ooh. I'm talking, of course, about the stonefish. Now that this animal is dangerous, not only because it's venomous, but also because it's very hard to spot. Yeah. The stonefish is usually motionless, which explains the reason why people called it that way. I didn't know they were venomous. I didn't either. What if you did step on one? What Look at this ugly face. <laughs> It, it's not cute, but it's true. No. But that scares me about getting in the ocean, though. Like, again, I keep, I'm sorry, I sound like a broken record. I just wonder how common this stuff is. Um, and where are these at? Like, are they, like, are you going to come across these? And how typical mm -hmm. would that be? Because that does make me nervous about getting the ocean right there. Fish lives between rocks and coral, and you can find it in different environments of shallow mm -hmm. waters, such as mud flats and estuaries. See? Its camouflage is an inconvenience for humans, yeah. and a single step on them can send you straight to the hospital. No, cool, a stonefish no. stink can cause unbearable pain and even death if you don't treat it in a timely manner. Why? But the good thing is that you can treat a stonefish attack as soon as you notice it. All you need to do is apply hot water to the affected area and wait for the venom to lose That's its effect. That's it? Effect. That's impressive. Some people also claim that vinegar helps in this situation. Anti-venom is available, but people only recur to it when the case is too extreme to okay. handle. Okay, good to know, good to know. Number to know four. The Blue Ringed Octopus. Yeah, ah, a returning octopus. animal from many of our lists, here's another animal that also lives underwater. The Blue Ringed Octopus. That thing looks awesome. It does this one cool. won't be as hard to spot as the stonefish. In fact, this one is very cool to watch as its skin yeah. is covered of little blue patterns that Pretty. look like rings. But still, if you do see one, please stay away from huh. them. No, well, These I'm small animals are cool, but they're also venomous. Once they sting you, your body will shut down and become paralyzed to the point that you will stop breathing. Oh, okay. Uh, and unfortunately, one. there is no anti-venom for cases of blue ringed octopus attack. What? However, they say you can treat their bites by helping the victim stay calm and breathe until the octopus's toxin is removed from the body by applying pressure on the wound. Okay. But don't worry too much. 
This animal is actually quite shy, and like most wild animals out there, the blue ringed octopus will only attack when it feels threatened. Good to know. There have only been three blue ringed octopus related deaths reported to Australia. Oh, that's so it? The chances okay. of you being number four are actually quite low. Look, it's me. Just enjoy the Australian waters and stay away from animals that don't want to be near you. Stay out of water. No problem. Number no. three. <laughs> Saltwater crocodiles. I knew they'd be on the list. And this is where I'm going to start getting a bit controversial for some of you because the animal I ranked as the third most dangerous in Australia is perhaps the most dangerous for a lot of you. Yeah. However, that's only because it's big, but not as threatening as the other two I'm going to show you. Okay. The saltwater crocodile, just like the name Man, implies, are expected to be found in bodies of saltwater, right. meaning the ocean. Mm. However, they are more popular in estuaries and sometimes some freshwater spots as well. <laughs> It can be quite amusing to see one in the wild, except when you're in Darwin, Australia, which is a place full of signs that warn you against these massive reptiles. These big animals are very aggressive, and they eat animals of all sizes, including humans. Now the thing is, there have been only 24 deadly attacks between the years of 1975 and 2009. So That's it? That's impressive. That surprises that me. Is. I'm glad to hear that. Um, and of course, we have alligators here, and um, we've been we've seen plenty of them that mm -hmm. we may have, and different not not in Cincinnati, Ohio, <laughs> no, nope. but in South Carolina and stuff like that. And um, they scare the crap out of me. Like um, in Florida, you know, you can walk around, and one can just come up in your driveway. Mm -hmm. So again, does that happen to you? I True. don't know. The chances of a deadly encounter are quite unlikely. However, I would encourage you to obey warning signs well, yeah. and stay away from places where you could potentially find one of these beasts. Oof. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Best pick. The picture I have for today is one of a scary looking snake that could easily give us all nightmares. What? Luckily such a snake doesn't even exist. At least not in Australia. But there is a snake I do need to talk to you about. Ugh. Number two. Taipan snake. I'm almost throw up. A list of dangerous animals no. wouldn't be complete without this no. snake. You saw the tiger no. snake, the brown no. snake, and now it's the second most hey, hey, dangerous hey. animal. I give no. you the... Oh, poor Natasha. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I'm sorry. Just give me a second. It's just a video. No. Nope. It's not a couple I issue. swear I can feel that. <laughs> I, I really don't like watching snakes eat other things. It like, has something well. in its freaking throat, dude. Yeah. Clearly. It was a couch. It was a, a sofa. Couch. It was a sofa. <laughs> Oh, I feel like my throat is closing up. <clears throat> it might have been a cold. Oh, I don't want to watch this anymore. It's almost done, right? It is almost <coughs> done. <laughs> we will get through this last I week. apologize, but I can't do this. I can't even do this. <laughs> it's going to be okay. No, it's not. It is. I'll protect you from the snake. Really? Yes. Really? Okay. I'll yes. throw you at it. Oh. I'll stand in front of you. God, it's so gross. Ah. Oh. All right, just hit play. Let's, make it. Let's end it. End it. End All the right. misery. Hurry, hurry, go, go. The next one, Whoa. the Taipan snake. But why is this snake here if, after all, the brown snake is the one that causes the most deaths? Mm -hmm. Well, simply because the, the snake. Taipan snake is the most venomous in the world. Oh, okay. However, this you one You have the most venomous snake in the world, Australia? <laughs> we have a problem here. <laughs> Hold on, really? That's what the man said. Wow. Sorry, avoid, I can't even look at the screen. I can't avoid do it. Avoid snakes and avoid water. And check your shoes. Am I going to see this? Like, please let me know. If we come over there, is this something I'm going to actually see, have a chance to see? What's my percentage? I need to know <laughs> this. What are my odds? I'm juggling now, apparently. You are juggling. I say we stay in the city, and then we probably won't see any. But then we're not going to see Australia. Then I was going to say, what is the point of going to Australia? <laughs> <coughs> the desert, so it is a bit more unlikely that a human will have a deadly encounter with Good to one. know. There have only been a few cases oh, of no. people that were bitten by them, and guess what? They all survived. But in case you're wondering just how dangerous their venom is, room. well, it can cause your skeletal muscle to break down. It could also form a lot of blood clots throughout your system, and can also damage your kidneys. So, don't go out there trying to test the effects of their venom. Just respect their space. After all, they don't want to be near you as much as you don't oh, want to be Oh, that's not true! That's a lie! Number one! The box jellyfish. Okay. While this animal hasn't killed humans that often, it is still the most toxic animal on Earth. Its venom is a threat to your heart, your nervous system, and even your skin. Most dangerous animal on Earth, I think, 
is a mosquito, from what I've always known. I said the most toxic. Yeah, that's such venomous. a fine line, though. I know, but it's toxic, really venomous, or the, deadly. Or the last fish, or the last snake. Ugh. I mean, you said that was most. Thank you for letting me forget that. Venomous, S-word. toxic snake. So. Is most, it's the most fish? venomous snake in the world, is what he said. Yes. This so. is the most toxic. What did he say? Now I have to go back and find out. The box jellyfish. While this animal hasn't killed humans that often, it is still the most toxic animal on Earth. Its venom is a threat to your heart, your nervous system, and even your skin. This kind of jellyfish lives in the waters of it's northern like Australia and likes to come out to play between the months of October and May. I don't like the jellyfish. summer season picks up in the southern hemisphere. Yeah. I won't get the water. The box jellyfish is pale blue, which makes it a bit hard to spot in the midst of the ocean water. One single sting can cause a lot of pain, while multiple stings can lead you to your death. Mm. But a lot of yeah, first thanks. responders have been trained in beaches around Queensland to help out anyone who gets affected by one of these lethal in creatures. Queensland. I really don't know what you might have heard, but pee is not as effective as some people claim. I've always said However, that. vinegar and other practices can help you survive the attack. So just be careful when you swim in those waters, all right? No, I'm not doing it. That's all I have for you today. That was a... Uh... Terrifyingly disgusting. <laughs> That's what that was. That was hard for me. I'm not going to lie. I, I, I need some... <laughs> Hold me. Oh, it's I saw okay. snakes. It's I saw... Okay. It's really not funny. <laughs> There are no flying bugs for you, so they didn't get to see you freak out. No, they, they didn't show any uh, that are going to kill me. <laughs> My throat still Doesn't mean like... I'm not going to be scared. <sighs> I don't care what flies at me. I don't like it. You okay? You need a drink? I'm good. <laughs> Sorry. Ugh, things don't bother me except the... That's like really good. I mean, not like rats by any means, but I don't really see those around here. No. I'm not a big fan of mice, but no. snakes, man, I just can't. Um, curious, what are you afraid of? What animals in the comments, or whatever they may be, you know, freak you out? Scare uh-huh. the crap out of you, make your skin crawl like yeah. I'm, oh, I'm just seeing a snake like that, just moving on the gr- uh. Yeah, what animal scares or frightens an Australian? Good question. And I'm sure it's not just- Since you have be. so many other things <clears throat> than, we, than we do. I don't know if that's true, is it though? I don't, is it more stuff than us? I don't know. Well, I think that's I mean, here in Ohio. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's true. I, I thought uh, you meant America. No, us here in Ohio. You guys have bears? We don't have that much. Dumb question. Do you have bears? Mm. I don't know if you do. Good question. Let I us mean, know. I, I honestly don't know. <laughs> uh, let us know what you thought about the list. Like I said at the beginning of the video, um, you know, we, we know that's not the only dangerous animals you have. No. I mean, you couldn't just put 10 most dangerous animals in America mm-hmm. and then... I'd be mad if they didn't have certain things like every snake we own. Yeah. We own <laughs> that exist. Um, but now just be curious what else we would uh, you would add to the list on top of this. And again, my biggest question this whole video, how, you know, likely are we to see any of these things? But mm-hmm. more specifically. The snakes and the spiders. Not just these snakes, study any snake <laughs> at all. Because again, I've already seen one here this year already in the front yard. You did. If you did like today's video, please hit the like button and mm-hmm. consider subscribing to our channel. <laughs> the We're gonna get through it. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm gonna not sleep tonight now. Well we'll go watch something funny. Get your mind off of it. Thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate you so much. And again, hope you enjoyed uh, my squirming. Um <laughs> Let us know in the comments um, your thoughts on the video, and we will see you next time. Thank you so much. As always, please love like jazz. Be as strong as Tyson. Bye, guys. Bye.